All right. This is part eight. This is the last one I'm going to do for tonight, and then we'll do the next four tomorrow. Okay. This is about what you get for Legal Shield. What is Legal Shield? How can Legal Shield help you? Why would you want a Legal Shield membership? And part eight. Okay. We're going to go over uh, residential home loan, and that's for the family plan for the 1995. But real quick, let's cover some bases. We already, I told you about part one, which was personal legal advice on limited situations, okay, including pre-existing. Letters and phone calls made on your behalf from your provided law firm. Contracts or documents, 15 in any given month that we'll review, it doesn't matter what they're for, okay? The other one is uh, the emergency, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, got a button on your phone that's red. Within three seconds, a lawyer because two lawyers out of every one of our law firms takes a phone home, speaks in English, go ahead, ready to go at a moment's notice. Okay, they're under contract to do that in every state of the United States and four provinces of Canada. Okay, we went over the app, about different things on the app, okay. Um, part five was uncontested divorce, uncontested separation, uncontested adoption, uncontested foster care, uncontested name change. All right. Um, six was 60 hours of civil trial defense time. You have 60 hours of civil trial defense time if you ever named in a lawsuit, somebody tries to sue you. You cannot use it to sue somebody, but you can use it if somebody tries to sue you. And think about it. If law firms across the board cost $350, now I understand some lawyers might charge 100 or 75, depending on who they are, but across the board on average, lawyers are about $350. Take that by 60. We give you 60 hours every year, up to five years, which means we give you 300 hours of civil trial defense time, okay? That's if you're never named the, the defendant or respondent in a um, covered civil action. All right. And then the one we just got done doing was your will, health care power attorney, living will, trust for minors. Those are very important to get done. I showed you the will just a little bit ago, okay? Now, this one's going to go quick because this is important. This is for our family plan. This is this is one that's covered under the 1995. All this, so I'm telling you, is all 1995, not individually, but together. Okay? Meaning, for 1995, you get all this plus so much more. Now, the last the one, or for part eight, we do residential home loan. Okay? In other words, if you get a residential loan document assistance, okay? If you ever get a house, an apartment, or something like that, and it's a residential home loan, and you're part of the family plan, which means you're, you're part of the 1995 membership per month, no contracts, no co-pays, no deductibles, no termination fees, um, you get a home, there's, there's usually about 20, 30 pages in there that need to be reviewed. That is separate from the 15 contracts or documents. That is completely separate. It's residential home loan, okay, which means we'll review all those papers. Now, why is that important? Well, if you're getting your first home, you want somebody to go over some VA paperwork with you because you're getting a house or you're getting a loan somehow to get a nice place or your first house or something else, your lawyers are going to help you with it and they're going to review its entirety, okay? And they will spend the amount of time it takes for the residential home loan, okay? So if that's said and done, we, that's basically whatever, how many pages is that, they're going to review and they'll do that once a year for you. Okay, that's separate than the 15 contracts or documents, which means you don't have to worry about wasting your 15 contracts or documents each month. They'll do the residential home loan in its entirety once a year. Okay. Now, that being said, I kind of want to go over a few things, and then tomorrow we're going to do 9, 10, and 11. But so far, we went over, take for instance, if you go over family matters, okay, adoption, alimony, child custody, child support, child visitation rights, um, conservationship, um, divorce, domestic violence, protection, guardianship, insanity, infirmity, juvenile court proceedings, name change, parental responsibilities, prenuptial agreements, school administration hearings, things that you can use, okay? And the financial sector, affidavit, affidavits, bankruptcy, civil damage, claims, defense, consumer credit, Okay, consumer protection, contracts, financial disputes, debt collection, durable financial power of attorney, estate, administration, closing, inheritance right protection, installment sale contracts, IRS audit protection, IRS collection defense, lease contracts, medical disputes, Medicare disputes, personal property disputes, promissory notes, social security disputes, veterans benefits disputes. I can keep going on and on and on about everything that our coverage will do for you. Okay, and I'm only on part eight right now. Okay, tomorrow we're going to go over nine, 10, 11, and 12. But you're going to see why would you want a $20 a month legal shield membership? 
Well, as I get to, I'm telling you this, think about it. For 1995, you get all this, plus more. When I'm done, it's everything's covered that I'm telling you about right now for the 1995. If you go into a lawyer and you ask them the price of all this so far, just go and ask them a residential home, how much you're going to review it. It's going to probably cost you about $45, $50 per page. If you want them to write up a letter of contract, it may cost you $20, $30, bucks, $40, $75, sometimes depending off a child support case. You want them to write a letter to somebody? Okay, well, that's going to cost you. Every time you go in that lawyer's office, you might get that 10-minute consultation. But you know what? They're all. This is not legal show. This is just a regular lawyer's. They're going to want a retainer. Then they're going to tell you their hourly fee. Why do people have legal shield? Because you're right. You might not need us. And you might not think you need us. Or you might think, well, this is never going to happen to me. But let me ask you this. Turn on the TV right now and look what's going on in the news. Open up your newspaper right now and look how many people are getting sued. Go back to the obituaries and how many people and look how young they are when they die for a health care power of attorney. Look at the court records and look how many every single day the court is just filled with people. And they're not all bad. They're not all good either. But guess what? They're all different races, religions, creeds, cultures, and you think it can't happen to you? People get car insurance because they have to. I understand that. But if you get in a wreck, your insurance goes up. People get health insurance because, let's face it, we're going to get sick. And eventually they make you get the stuff. Problem is, more people go to court and more people get sued per day than people go to the hospital. And that is done by the American medical profession. They put those standards out. More people get sued and go to court every single day than go to the hospital. So you ask yourself this. If you think it's not possible for you or somebody to sue you or for you need legal advice, and you think, oh, I got Google. I'm going to go on to Google. Google never passed a bar exam. Well, I'm just going to call a local attorney because my friend's good. Do you know what they're an expert in? Do you know if that lawyer's been screened? If he's been scrutinized? Do you know if he's been through courses to make sure that he can provide the best adequate protection for you and give you the best service available? Can you promise that the lawyer you go to is not going to rush you because the, he's being paid by the hour but you can't get certain things out because if you do, it's going to go into the next hour and you can't afford it? 1995. Legal Shield membership. You want more information? Give me a call. 217-316-0219. This was part eight. Go down there. www.legalshield.com or sorry, dot com forward slash hub H-U-B forward slash Jeffrey J-E-F-F-R-E-Y W Jansen. Or you can go and go to www.jeffrey no middle initial on this one. J-A-N-S-E-N dot buildlastingsuccess.com look you owe it to yourself to protect yourself you protect yourself in the car you protect yourself for your medical why can't you protect your financial future why can't you protect your kids when they're at school and your husband or your wife why do people have to be stubborn and not understand that a rainy day is going to happen people are going to get sick people are going to get in accidents people are going to sue and as people look at suing people like the lottery your will come up and guess what they will take everything from you and not care because we do not live in the most caring world anymore we live in a world where people sue you because it's the easiest way to get money so that that's their way of retiring they would rather sue you and hurt you than to basically be like oh and look the other way Accidents happen. People sue. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. People break in the homes. They sue the homeowner. And the homeowner goes to jail for years. People break in, get bit by a dog. They sue you. People break in, no dog, but they cut themselves on the fence. They sue you. You get in a wreck, somebody's going to sue you, even though it was their fault. But now they're saying that, you know, something else happened. Every day in America, people are being sued. Every day in Canada, people are being sued. DUIs are happening every single day. Accidents happen every single day. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. This is August 18th, 2017. This is part eight. Look down below, and I'll talk to everybody tomorrow. See you, everybody.